What's up guys, it's Zed and this is episode 13 of the FIFA 22 player career mode with Conrad Zan. And the first thing that is on the news right now is Inter Milan bid 96.6 million pounds to buy me. <laughs> That's a lot of money and for the fact that I'm injured, I'm actually really surprised that, that they want to buy me. But I'm not interested in the move. I mean, it's a lot of money. I have no idea how much they'll be paying me. I think you could check. They want to pay me £60,000 per week. Uh, I'm really not interested. I want a lot more money than that. So I'm just going to reject this offer. Because I don't want to leave Burnley, to be honest. I mean, it's quite shocking that you see me rejecting an offer to go to Inter Milan to stay at Burnley. It's very, very rare for someone to do that. But... I really do not want to go to Syria because a lot of reasons to be honest. Number one, I don't like the league. Number two, they have a lot of unregistered clubs. And well, yeah. <laughs> they have 147 games to go before that injury is up. So I'm just going to sim all the way to... Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to sim like this, but I just want to see what they do in this match. And they still haven't lost a match, but I'm pretty sure they're going to like lose that. I mean, maybe one or two by the time we're ready to play. So I'm just going to... So I'm going to skip to the part where we are ready and fit to play. And then I'll talk to you guys when I get there. Recovery is on schedule and it looks as if you're almost ready to return to action. The medical staff will make one final assessment before clarity is available for selection for our next game. Well... I mean, it's been a long, lonely, long, lonely road to to our recovery. And Burnley has dropped all the way down to 7th. And in that time, Manchester United is 1st, Manchester City is 2nd, Liverpool is 3rd, Aston Villa is still up there, and that's actually really, really shocking. They are 4th, Leicester City is 5th, Chelsea is 6th, and Burnley is 7th, with Spurs right behind us. I'm no longer the top scorer in the league. I'm now just at 10 goals while Danny Ings has gone all the way to score 20 goals in the league, followed by Ben Yedda, Vardy, Correa and Sterling. Those are the top five and, well, I mean, I need five goals to catch up to Sterling. And, well, I, I mean, that is possible unless there's some sort of shadow that's going to be cast on us now. And I really hope that's not the case. So, there's another transfer offer from Arsenal. And they want to give me fifty thousand dollars per week. And I'm I'm actually an Arsenal fan, but I won't be caught dead going to the same for this game. Like it's never it's never going to happen, like ever. So I'm just going to reject that as well. Now this is what I really do not get. It says I've I've been really disappointed with what I've seen from you lately, and I'm not sure I can count on you as a member of the squad. So he won't be putting me in the starting lineup. So it's I mean, it's really, really annoying. It's really, really annoying that this is what's going to happen because we've been injured for five months and we come back and we get this bullshit. So this thing that makes me want to leave this team, although I still really like it, if 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 I don't do well, then I'm most likely going to accept the next transfer offer. Hopefully, it's not from Arsenal again. And then the next transfer offer comes from Everton. Well, I haven't played the match, so I'm going to reject this one as well. A lot of clubs really want to buy me, to be honest. And I I don't know if the manager put me on the transfer, what's it called? The transfer list or not. But, I mean, I really don't care right now because I'm not leaving this team for any, for just any team. It has to be a really, really huge team that bids and then I will leave. Right now, my transfer, yo. <laughs> Yo, Borussia Dortmund wants to buy me. They want me back. I mean, how does this feel? Because I actually left their club and I, I, I did really well. Even though, like, I was doing really well in their club and they still sold me. And all of a sudden, they want me back. I mean, I, I am definitely going to go back to, Dor to Dortmund because I really, really like that team. It's my home, it's my home club. And that's where I was born in Dortmund. And I'm definitely going to be going back there, to be honest. So I'm just going to accept this deal. They want to give me £35,000. That is lower than all of the other clubs that have gotten me. Maybe it's a familiarity kind of thing. I don't know. But 
I'm going to accept it either way. That just shows that money isn't really everything for me. And yeah, we're going to be going back to Dortmund officially by the end of this season. All right, so we're finally going to be playing after a very, very long time. We're going to be playing in the LM position for good months in. And I mean, I expect that because our um, manager rating is really low. It's like almost at the reserves. But we're just going to come back and show Burnley one more time what Conrad Zan is all about. All right, so we are going to Dortmund in the next season. And our match objectives are to get a 7.0 match rating, take two shots on target, and have a 40% dribble success rate i'm saying 40 because i'm going to be enhancing it to that now. jack caught now zan andre han trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away an incisive pass You'll be hard pressed to find a better save than that. Okay, Look. let's see. Sam. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. And with that, the referee breaks. Alright, so I wasn't really expecting anything to happen in this match because. <laughs> I just don't know the LM position were playing there for the first time and well I mean to be honest this this like Conrad Zand's season but like this season isn't just like going well for him at all to be honest we are almost at the end and well we didn't score any goals this match and we didn't get any of the manager's objectives I think we got just one okay we got two of the objectives actually and we do draw the match but our manager rating has gone back down to the reserves it's not it's not good to be honest it's not good at all but i mean we could just like get it back up with this training drill right here and okay i was thinking it went up really small but all right so a good thing is that we leveled up to level 20 again and we have finally unlocked this one so we're going to be getting this and a couple others we still have five left to go our passing right now is on 72 long pass is on 50 okay there isn't really a lot that we can do here we're going to okay our dribbling still needs some work so i'm going to get our skill move up to okay i don't really need skill moves right now to be honest so let's just work on this one the attacking position and this our balance we'll get this as well and the last one we should get should be yeah we should definitely take our dribbling up to um 79 all right so that's what we're going to be doing for now we're up to an 83 overall and our passing has gone up to 61 our pace is still 92 i wonder how you actually increase your pay your pace you need like a shorter player and a less weighty player to do that because I actually want to increase the pace, but we can't actually go over 92. So, yeah, that sucks, actually. Next match is against Southampton. We are leading them 2-0. We're coming in the 77 minute. Finally, we're playing a striker. And let's see if we're going to be able to get a goal or two in this match. So, our match objectives are a 7.0 match rating, score one goal from outside the box, and have a dribble success rate of... 35% which are going to be enhancing to 40% so I'll talk to you guys after this match is over let's hope we can get a goal and actually do well in this match Walker Peters on the ball Kim Bo Kyung and they find a gap in the defence opportunity for them to get back into the game and oh it's in we cannot declare this contest over they still believe well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. The fans doing every bit to try and spur their team on for this equaliser. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Opportunity here. 
foiling his opponent completely. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Well, the clearance half-hearted. And I think the threat has been averted. Goodmanson. Zan. Cork. Useful looking position, you've got to say. McNeil. Cuts it back. Well, what a good stop to keep them in this. Well, that would have been game over. Not long left now, though. Takes the shot. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Well, I'm not sure they deserve anything from this game, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving the team on. And just one minute left. Good looking sequence. Hernandez. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? And there it is. The referee blows the whistle. It's full time here. Burnley get the okay, so I think that we've actually gotten more goals than assists. Sorry, more assists than goals in this season. And that is really weird. That guy that scored for Southampton, he did a Ronaldo celebration. I was just like, what? <laughs> anyway, so we're actually not in it in a very good form because we actually really want to score goals even though we did all of the managers objectives in this match I think or we most likely just did two out of three yeah we did two out of three objectives and well I mean it was really a good performance from us we got an assist to Javier Hernandez that is one of the topics I want to talk about <laughs> how did that happen like they probably bought him in the um winter transfer window but I mean, it's fine, it's fine. My place in the team isn't really gone. It's just because I was on injury, so I'm starting out from sub-level again, which is actually quite bullshit because that shouldn't be happening. When I'm on injury, everything's supposed to go on a standstill. But no, FIFA didn't think of that when they're creating this game. All right, so this is the final match of the season. The next season, we'll be going back to um, Germany, to our home country, to play for Borussia Dortmund. So let's... This was actually not how I expected our Burnley career to go because I actually wanted to stay in this team for about two or three seasons. But, I mean, Borussia Dortmund offered for us and I just couldn't say no to my home country, to my home club, to the club I started from. And even though they did me dirty at the beginning of this series, I mean, I'm still loyal to them. So, this is the last match of... This is our last match in Burnley, and let's just hope that we can actually get a goal. We're coming in in the 57 minutes, so there should be plenty, plenty time for us to get a win in the last match. So we're coming on for Javi Hernandez, and our match objectives are to get a 7.0 match rating, and then three shots on target, and get an assist on goal. So, let's see if, let's just hope that, our injury didn't actually fuck our career up. Top class defending. A chance maybe from the wide position. Westwood. Saul. Real defensive commitment there. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. Arnold. And Saul is up there. And he's clear as lines. Oh, great piece of individual skill. 
was showing excellent vision. They've only gone and grabbed another one. Two goals in quick succession. Now they have the lead. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Ten minutes to go. Liverpool continue to attack with time against them here. This could level it. But denied by the keeper, and at this late stage... Time and circumstances against Liverpool, but still they might hit back. Oh, what a great save to keep them in front. Well, he's just... on the ball. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Big opportunity. Well, will that come back to haunt them? A golden... If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Can he find the net? And how about that for a save? Smuggled away. The sound of the referee... Okay, so we were able to get a hat-trick in that last match for Burnley. We scored... Our first goal for Burnley was against Liverpool. Funny enough. And then our last goal with Burnley is against Liverpool and we have won the match this time the first time we drew the match so yes yeah, it's been a really good season here I guess because we scored our, I think about 24 25 goals which is actually really good although although we would have scored a lot more we would have scored a freaking lot more if not for that injury that actually fucked us up all right so we're able to like get bumped up into the starting level so I guess that should help us out when we get to Dortmund I think so we're just going to keep training to keep, to stay up in the starting level we got the man of the match we got two out of the three um objectives that the manager laid out for us we almost got three just at that whoever the fuck that was completely flung to that attempt i mean it was a one-on-one -on -one. i mean i have missed a couple one-on-ones before but like i mean that one was a lot easier to score all right so we have come to the end of the season we have 90 shots, 92 pace, 61 pass, 78 dribbling, 32 defending. I mean, no one really cares about that. And 69 finishing. So we are back with this clown at Dortmund. <laughs> and let's just, let's just do a lot better than what we did when we got here. Dortmund fans are excited by Zan arrival. Today sees arrival of Konrad Zan at the Borussia Dortmund training ground. Once again, after a move that is sure to stir up excitement, the 18-year-old is expected to strengthen the striker spot and was praised by Borussia Dortmund manager for his ability. As soon as I saw this lad, Zan, play, I knew I wanted him for our team. Well, <laughs> I was in your team before, so I, I really do not know what you're talking about, bro. So currently, we have 67 appearances and we have scored 58 goals and made 16 assists. We've lost 11, we've drawn 11, and we've won 45. That is, that is a rather healthy, healthy um, stats. Those are rather healthy stats, if you were to ask me. Okay, so we are now in level 21, and we got a couple more skill points. We have four, and I think, yeah, we should still keep this skill move a bit. I mean, we need a couple of other things before we actually go for this skill move thing. So let's go for shooting. And... Huh. I mean, our shooting is already really, really good. So we don't actually need a lot of it. So I'm just going to get this one for the volleys. Then we're going to go back to passing. We have both of the passing archetypes. So I want to work on the left side of the passing because I want our curve to really, really, like, go up. So I'm going to be working with the vision uh basically vision crossing and curve for this part of the um passing section okay we're just gonna get that and you'll know, basically just get our curve up to um 67 and there's there isn't really anything else we can do right here 
So I'm just going to go for this one for the last. I'm just going to go for this one for the last one. And it's going to get out dribbling to 82. So that should be good enough for me. Okay, I don't even have an idea how this stuff happens. <laughs> I literally just got into the team, bro. So you can't buy me. I'm not going to your team for that low amount of wages, bro. I guess that just showed me that you can actually get um, transfer offers from other teams without being, you know, like put on the transfer list by your manager. That's actually really good. So basically, we've been working on our training and I don't think Haaland is in this team. So before we do anything else in this team, we're just going to look at the current squad rankings. Haaland is definitely no longer in this team. He's long gone. Uh, we are fifth, right under Matt Hummels, Yusef Enesri, Lucas Digne, Julian Brandt, and then there we are, number 97 as well. Um, I got a comment from one of you guys that um, I should use numbers under 35 in the Bundesliga, so I'm just going to do that. All right, so I put the number at 17, but it's still showing 97 there for some reason. I actually have absolutely no idea why it's still showing at 7 but what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into this match we are finally starting i missed this formation to be honest so let's just see what we can do if we're going to be able to get our first our second debut goal for Borussia Dortmund. i think the first match we played in this team we got a goal i think so let's see if we can repeat that in this match it is a big day for the debutant. He's in the starting 11, and the action is next on EA TV. And a warm welcome to the Zignali Duna Park. My name is Derek Ray. Okay, so this is our second first match for Borussia Dortmund, and we're supposed to get 9.0 rating, avoid, avoid losing the match and complete 10 passes in the opponent's half. I'm going to... Uh, which one? I'm going to enhance this one in the middle here and hopefully we can like start as well as we did when we went to Burnley and hopefully we don't have an SC Braga season in Dortmund. I mean, I, I doubt it's going to happen because the team is actually okay. So I actually can't wait. Good technique in terms of how he struck it. Jan now. Promising sequence. The referee has played advantage in Dortmund's favour. The inside route looks promising. Digne. Well, able to close down the short. Now, how about the short corner? favors the inside route and a goal an eruption of joy it's a goal from the debutant well that's exactly what he wanted it's the perfect start for him well i have to say this is a really good goal he skips past his market and that gives him the space to get his shot away excellent stuff from him in the right place to intercept Harrison Reed and they know they need to stop him off the pass and back in play gonna get a try oh he's done it and it's a debut double to the delight of his fans Just look at this. It's a good finish and reward for their pressure. They really have controlled this game. Okay, Alex. Yep, it's a goal for Eintracht Frankfurt. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. There's one open up. With... Takes the shot. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. 
just watch his technique here. He just hits through the brackets. And now in Naziri. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Could be. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Delivering it. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserved. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. And the finishing has been clinical. They will certainly be happy going in at half-time. Now, what can they do from here? Brandt. Now delivering that deep cross. Well, he put the cross into the right place, but no An attack full of promise. Oh, he's given it away. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Can they keep it going? Chance, Digne. Oh, it's in! And a goal on his debut, no less. What a way to endear yourself to the fans. as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. If you're wondering about stoppage time, can he keep his composure? goal this is he hits it so cleanly and the keeper has no chance that's a great strike a chance then for the respective managers to address their charges it is half time here all right so we got a debut brace and this is where i'll be ending this match because i really don't want to play the full match because you know we're, we're actually like right now we're already 5-1 and we have gotten just two out of the three objectives and i really don't care about the last one i just care about i really only care about the match rating objective to be honest okay so we are going off here and guyon is coming on i actually would want to know where um Haaland is at the moment but our number didn't change from 97 so that is actually a bummer that we aren't able to uh change our number to be honest so i mean if you're watching this i tried so as you already know, we got two out of the three um, objectives and Bellingham is surprisingly still in this team. So we are just going to play one more match and it's actually really shocking that Lucas Dinia is playing a CM. Isn't he like he left back or something? Or the manager probably changed him or something because it's, it's, it's really weird to be honest because Bellingham is now the one playing at left back. So that's actually quite fucked up. Far and away, Germany's biggest derby. Indeed, they call it the mother of all derbies, the Revier Derby. Stay tuned, we'll bring you all the action live from Gelsenkirchen as Schalke face Borussia Dortmund. It is a German city rich in football tradition. We're in Gelsenkirchen. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. Okay, so our uh, match objectives for this match are an 8.5 rating, take 5 shots on target, and get at least 2 right goals or assists it's in Schalke. this match. I'm going to enhance Thanks, Derek, which one. Always, this should be a good game. Okay, I'm not going to enhance any one really. I'll just quality, get this one, to be honest. And just two for the sake of it. Alright, so this is our second match in the yellow shirt again. And are we going to be able to do as well as we did in the previous match? Ah, oh, crap. That was offside. I passed it too late, I passed it too late, anyway, this is actually the last match of this episode, okay, stop celebrating bro, this is going to be the last match of this episode, so I'll talk to you guys after the match is over. And the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. 
And what can they do to stop him running at them? Digne, determined defending. Can he put them in front? One block after another. Can he play it in? Happy to take on the shot. And a goal for Dortmund. They take the lead in the Hoa Derby. A real jolt to the home fans. Well, look at the finish here. He's just eased that beyond the keeper. That's a good goal, you have to say. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can... Off the crossbar, he thought it had a chance. Well, that was a clever... Digne. Oh, could be. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. So... Antone. Gives it a go. And it's in. This game very much back on as a contest. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Alex. Perica. What can they do from here? This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point. And momentum is with them. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all can. Ferdi Cadioglu. Emre Can. Brandt. Here is Digne. Zan. Has eyes for goal. And a really powerful effort. But just Ooh, over... The... Squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Takes aim. Oh, he really bruised the crossbar. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances, and surely a goal is coming. Well, they might be onto something. And there is the goal to re establish their advantage. <laughs> well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but the keeper should do better at his near post. But it Thanks. came to nothing in the end. Perica. And the assistant referee has raised his flag. Offside. So we're at the end of the match and also the end of the episode. We are able to get two goals and one assist. And we got a 10.0 match rating. That match ended 3-2 and we are getting closer to the level 22 and I really don't know if it's Dortmund that's a better team or I'm just a better player but they actually played a lot better even though we actually conceded two goals right, up, right, right after the two goals that I scored and uh, I and in that um, goal song at Dortmund I actually really missed it they're actually a pretty decent team to actually play with right now so Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.